Listen up because we have 36,000 Rand worth of prizes on that those lines are open yeah. later on in the show. So stay tuned for that announcement. Yeah, we don't, you don't want to miss that. We've also got some great guests on the show today, being a Fashion Thursday. We'll be taking a look at the latest designs from Busi Banshee Creations. And we chat to blogger and motivational speaker, Jess Munim, about how, oh, sorry, I think I pronounced that weird. Munim <laughs> Munim about how she balances work, life and play. We've also got some live music coming your way. And today on social media, we're asking you, what genre of music gets you moving? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Literally, I love all your comments that come through. It's my favorite thing to do in ad breaks yeah. is to go into your comments yeah. and go and check them out. So make sure you get interacting with us online. And speaking of that live performance, our first guest today has music literally inside his DNA. He's son to one of the country's most prolific music promoters, Peter Tladdy, and he started his entertainment career as a dancer, which gave him the opportunity to perform across the world. Now he's focused his greatest passion, hip hop, and just two days ago he released his debut album titled Written in the Stars, it's Tumi Chadi. My goodness, we young and we team in the life that we live it. We ain't need for big though. I trust that you working as hard as I am. I've been planning the service to end go. Cramming the physics, I turn up so bottles, so bottles are endless. I gotta go. TBT didn't get who knows. It's too me bloody with us on Afternoon Express today. Yeah, yeah. Bonnie, yeah. I'm gonna get just careful, dude, because Bonnie and I, whenever there's a hip hop artist on the show, we get very gangster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gonna become gonna very, we lose all of our formality and we become like, you know. Yeah. You I'm done, I'm done. And we, I mean, we could get used to this. We're actually used to having you. It's your second time in the loft yeah, 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 here. Yeah, yeah, Welcome it's my back. Time. Thank you so much for having so me. So that music video had to do with dance, right? Dance was like kind of in ingrained it's, in it. This is. I feel like it's like that in my music in general. Even yeah. my future music video, it's it's always about combining the music and dance together. Yeah, because that's where you started. So yeah. explain to us how like a dancer becomes hip hop artist and so, how, how how did your whole career into dancing so, begin? Yeah, so you guys know that music's in my blood. So before dancing, I wanted to be a musician, but it was very difficult in the industry that that time. So um, you know, my parents believe in yo do things yourself. Get your own money. Don't come mm -hmm. ask me for pocket money. If you want money, go work go for yourself, mm -hmm. you know? So when I saw the music thing, I was struggling at the time and I was very young. I think I was like 13 years old. And I was like, um, and I was dancing around, you know, also I could dance just by doing it, you know? And when I was dancing and performing at school, my dance teacher discovered me and he was like, yo, I can't help you with a recording studio, but I can help you with a dance studio, mm. you know? And I was like, okay, let me try this dance thing, you know? Everybody's been saying I'm good at dancing, let me go. And I went to the dance studio with them, I started learning, you know? Um, all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm competing at the world championships, and then I'm traveling the world, and it happens so fast. So then I'm fun. doing So You Thinking Dance South Africa, then I'm, you know, dancing for Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's kids, um, Trey oh, Smith. Tell us about how you know, that happened? How did you end up nah, dancing so with Jaden You know, Smith? I got recruited into Los Angeles from YouTube. So me and my friends used to do a lot of YouTube dance videos. <laughs> yeah, so um, I got discovered from a manager. His name was Christian, a Mexican. And he flew me down to LA and, you know, um, was helping me with management and, you know, getting jobs and stuff like that as a dancer. And um, I was at the dance studio the one time. He was like, yo. Will Smith and the whole family is here, they're auditioning. I'm like, what? Can I go in? You know? Mm -hmm. And I just jumped into the audition and next thing I know, um, Jada Pinkett was like, yo, I like your dance style because I combined um, our South African dance style with hip hop called Spudra. So oh. I put the two together. So they were like, what is going on? Yeah, and Jada awesome. Pinkett was the one that noticed me out of everyone and said, yo, come through to the music video shoot. I thought it was a joke. Next thing I know, the agents uh, hollering at my manager saying, yo, we need to meet the music video shoot on the day. I literally thought it was a dream. The next day I wake up, it's all over the newspapers in South Africa. What? Like I thought it was a dream Crazy. when I woke up. I was like, after the music video shoot, I woke up and just South Africa was like showing me love. And you, know? you were like, I could get used to this. Yeah, I was like, damn, I could get used to this. I'm like this, you know? <laughs> But tell us about how your father's a very influential man in the music industry, yeah. but he's decided that you need yeah. to journey down yeah. this path on your own. And that sometimes it must be tough because people perceive you as someone who is where he is because his dad put him on. I feel like people even make it harder for me 
you know, mm. um, especially artists that are big in the industry, you know, you get artists that want to help other artists that, you know, go through a struggle or, um, you know, live, live in, in, a, in, a, in a tough situation, you know. So with me, they'll look at me and they don't realize that everything I've done since I was 14, I worked for myself, you know, mm. my own car, you know, uh, my own apartment, I worked for that yeah. myself and my parents taught me to be like that, you know, by being strict with me. So everyone would think that, okay, Dumi is going to just, you know, jump in and his dad's gonna do everything for him. But now the industry seen slowly like, wow, actually this dude for, yeah. since he started doing this music thing, like we never heard his dad's name. Mm. We never mm. heard his dad coming mm. to a radio station saying, yo, play this music, play this yeah. and that. So I think I'm gaining a lot of respect in the industry now mm. for, because they've seen it and they've seen it. Oh, are you upset, are you upset with your dad? Are you upset the fact that he didn't take you on as, No, as, as because a I realized or... that if he did it himself, I probably would have been famous years ago, but then I wouldn't be appreciative of the achievements I get. Yeah, you would have yeah. yeah. like Just being me. here, just being here is a huge achievement. And it would have been me, a case you know of easy come, easy go. Yeah, perhaps. like, you know, I wouldn't respect my presence here. I wouldn't respect yeah. talking to you guys. Yeah. I'll take that for granted. I probably would have came here like, oh, yeah, you know. Or whatever. It was yeah. easy. I didn't even struggle for yeah. that. Yeah. You know Tell us I mean? about this condition that you want to open up about, yeah, that yeah. you've been afraid to speak openly about, yeah. and you've, you finally found the courage to do so. And thank you so much for doing it on the show. Yeah, it's LBLD. So it's language based. LD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Language-based language learning, learning disability. disability. Even for me, it took me so long to remember <laughs> that. So basically, um, I struggle with learning languages. Um, English, the only reason with English I can speak it, I still struggle with English as well, is because it's the most talked about, mm -hmm. uh, talked language in the country. So um, I went through that since I was a kid and, um, you know, it's hard to talk about. It's like, it's just been so difficult because, you know, even to a point that I even lived in the hood um, in Shawela in Soweto, and they also try to teach me. Everyone's been trying to teach me, but at the same time, I went through a lot of bullying because of that. So it also made it difficult to, to, to try and learn it. People would try to talk it around me. I tried to learn it. I did so much research um, with a lot of doctors to, to, to try to figure out how I can brainwash myself mm -hmm. into learning at least one language. While I traveled the world, I was trying to, you know, I got so many Germ German books, got so many Spanish books to try and learn how to do it. I got so many apps. You know, I even want to invent an app um, that has like, you know, South African languages where you can sleep and then mm -hmm. it teaches you the language where you, it can teach you how yeah, to repeat the yeah. words. You know, um, I surround myself with a lot of friends now that um, speak the languages like Sutu, Zulu, you know, Twana. And I, I tell them, I encourage them to say, guys, please don't speak English. You know, my manager yeah. is here. Um, I encourage him to also speak um, the language yeah. to me so that it's always sinking in. So there and there, I do understand like Sutu and Twana a lot, but there and there, I, I, I tend to forget. But at the same time, I always try to embrace it into my vocabulary, you know. So yeah. I'll be like, hey, Joe, yeah. hey, hey, Kanti, where are you going, boys? And, you know, mm. uh, you see, I put the, I, yes. I make sure I put the slang so I don't try to run away from it. Right. Uh, every day, I always try to learn it. I also put it in my music, you know. So in, in my music, you'll also hear the vernacular in my music to yeah. help me try and remember. So I'm trying this whole thing of writing music with the neck so that it can, it can kind of brainwash yeah. me to remember yeah. the words. So I'm just yeah. doing different ways of trying to learn the languages. And I don't want to learn one, so I'm trying to learn like yeah. three languages at the I same time. I love the fact time. that you're a man with a story. And I think that's what's so cool about having you on the show today. You're not just one of those straight down the line, yeah. daddy's money, let me just show you how much flash yeah, yeah, yeah. my cars and my money and my yeah. brain. Yeah. I, I, I struggle I'm, to do and that. And I'm so yeah. glad you opened up about it because perhaps the there's a viewer out yeah. there who has the same problem, but they don't have yeah, a language yeah. for to it South or Africa, name for it. To South Africa, they don't, um, they don't understand that. They, to them, it's like, no, why don't you just know the language? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you're a cheese yeah. boy or you're a Model yeah, C. Yeah. And yeah. they don't understand that what I'm going through is literally a disability. I've gone through the world to try and, even, even if it wasn't my home language, I went through the world to try and figure out mm. Is it, is it, uh, what is going on? Why can't I understand? Why can't I learn? Why can't I remember? Like I'll learn a, a word and after two days, you know, um, there's a, mm. there's a doctor that even said that you must repeat a word about 165 wow. times so for, for it to get into your um, mutual brain. See, so sometimes I even struggle with yeah, fancy it's, it's your words or whatever. Memory. Yeah, so it's kind of you, yeah, you lose so the short term memory of those words, but if they sit in the long term memory, exactly. it becomes sort of like remote. Yeah, so it'll be awesome. with me, yeah. you know what I mean? And those things didn't work. So yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how I can learn it. Yeah. Stunning. Well, don't worry too much about it because you've yeah. got happy feet. 
<laughs> and listen, obviously, we've seen this guy rehearsing the song for yeah. later on in the show. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So Tumi will be back with us at the end of the show yeah. for that live performance we've been promising you. So stay right where you are. Plus, today is the big day. Later, we're launching the Clicks Advent Calendar 2017, where we're giving away 12 awesome prizes over 12 days, each to the value of 3,000 Rand. So keep your phone handy and jot down our number, 021-430-9881. That's 021-430-9881, because the lines will only open on our command. So when Bonnie or myself says the lines are open, only then will they be open. And just to reiterate, <laughs> our lines are not open right now, but will only open as we say so later in the show. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. My school, my village, my planet allows you to raise funds for what matters most to you. Afternoon Express, together with my school, want to help Chuck raise 1.5 million rand for their new Pretoria home. You can get involved by signing up for a free My School card and selecting Chuck as one of your beneficiaries. Tune in to Afternoon Express as we give away weekly loot.co.za vouchers to those helping us make a difference. Together we can make every swipe count. No lack. Lactose free milk that lets you enjoy dairy again. Made with love by Clover. And you're back with us on Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3. Now, if you've been tuning into the show regularly, over the last few weeks, we have had the privilege of featuring products like Clover Care, the first enriched milk in South Africa, and Clover No Lack, the lactose-free milk that allows people suffering from lactose intolerance to enjoy dairy again. But what these products have in common is that they are both licensed by the National Osteoporosis Foundation. And to learn a little bit more about this debilitating disease, we joined Teresa Hoch, the CEO of the National Osteoporosis Foundation, 
of South Africa at the South African Osteoporosis Annual Family Fun Run. Take a look. Today I'm out in Durbanville in the Western Cape to meet Teresa Hoch who heads up the South African National Foundation of Osteoporosis to learn more about how this disease affects people every single day. And it's a beautiful day for a fun run, don't you think? Teresa, what exactly is osteoporosis? Well, it literally means porous bones. Osteo meaning bone, porous meaning porous bones. So if you've got porous bones, you obviously fracture very easily. So osteoporosis makes your bone density very porous, so you easily fracture your bones. And it's usually either the forearm or the spine or the hip. And then who's susceptible to osteoporosis? Can anyone get it? Is it genetic? I can bore you with about 40 risk factors for osteoporosis, but everyone can get it. Um, so the, basically the global statistics for osteoporosis are one in three women and one in five men. In this country, all races get osteoporosis. Kids can get osteoporosis. Um, your biggest risk factor, of, of factor obviously, is, is for age. If you're over 50, that, that is, a, is a big risk factor for osteoporosis. Then things like cortisone use, um, lots of endocrine diseases like an overactive thyroid. Um, diabetes leads to osteoporosis, smoking very bad for you, um, and drinking. In this country, in South Africa, we like drinking wine. So if you drink more than two drinks of alcohol a day, you, you'll get osteoporosis. And then what about the cures and the treatments? You can never regain the bone density that you've lost because you've got until about the age of 30 to build up bone mass. After that, it's a normal process of, of losing bone. So the less bone you have in your bone bank, the less bone you've got to lose. So you get osteoporosis very quickly. But lifestyle remains important from birth until you die because bone is living tissue. You, you build bone and you lose bone until you die. So dairy intake, your calcium intake, very important. We need about a thousand milligrams of calcium per day. Um, vitamin D extremely important. Activity very important. If you don't, if you don't exercise or don't walk, you'll get osteoporosis. Don't smoke, don't drink. Those are the those are the stuff, and that remains important until you die. Whether you have osteoporosis, it remains part of your treatment plan, and to prevent osteoporosis, that's what you do. Then clearly, organisations and foundations like yours are vital in the fight against osteoporosis. We don't call it the silent disease for nothing because you can't actively feel your bones becoming thinner and you can't see the results. It's almost like having a high cholesterol and your first sign is a heart attack. With osteoporosis, it's very often a, a bone break that you get as the first sign. So no one really thinks it's as important. But if you think one fracture occurs every three seconds in the world, it's a very, very important and very neglected and very costly disease. And tell us why you decided to be involved in the licensing schemes with brands like Clover Nolak and Clover Care. It's just a simple fact. Dairy is your cheapest, best way to get in your daily calcium intake of a thousand milligrams. And especially with, with a Clover Nolak brand for people who are, who are lactose intolerant, because that's a big problem in South Africa is lactose intolerance. So there's no excuse for not taking dairy if you've got a lactose free milk. And the Clover Key, and they're all enriched with, with vitamin D. And vitamin D is actually probably more important than calcium, because if you don't have vitamin D on board, you can't absorb your calcium. I'm doing the medal number 50 for the year. I'm not supposed to because I had um, bone liaison put in my toe on Tuesday. But we're doing this together as a team for a good cause and going to get number medal 50. And here we are, wheelchair, going to do this. <laughs> Let's stand together for a very good cause. Um, like with you, if you would stand together for cancer, like you stand together for, for this cause today. And um, if more people get aware of certain things, I think the more you can do towards the course. We're here to obviously enjoy the outdoors and have some fun. We're in support of the Osteoporosis Foundation. Osteoporosis is, is, a, is a condition that, in my opinion, is, is well underdiagnosed in South Africa. And it's something that people need to be aware of. Um, there's a lot of lifestyle changes that people can do to, to support osteoporosis. And ideally, we want to recognize it earlier rather than later. Diet is key. Like, 
no, no, no supplementation can out, like it can't beat a diet. You need real food, your veg, your carbohydrates, your fiber, your protein, your fats, you need all of that stuff, especially milk and water. You need that every day of your life. Like diet is key, it's above all things. With a fracture occurring every three seconds in the world, it's vital that you and I learn more about osteoporosis and increase your dairy intake to make sure you get that calcium and that vitamin D. So can I dare you to take on the challenge? I take on the challenge, Danilo. I take that challenge on. And if you would like more information on this amazing organization, then head over to the National Osteoporosis Foundation of South African website. I challenge myself on my own show, so I might as well dunk my cookie and drink my milk. Clover Nolak, lactose-free milk that lets you enjoy dairy again. Made with love by Clover. Now, if you're looking for ways to live a healthy life while managing your busy life and schedule, you've come to the right place. We have Jess Minemni in the loft with us today as we talk about how to balance work, life and play while leading a busy lifestyle. Welcome to the loft, Jess. Thank you so much for having me. Wow. So you've got two babas and uh, during your first pregnancy, you gave up journalism and you were quite a hardcore journalist. And then you started an online magazine and then you sold it during your second pregnancy. <laughs> So tell us about that process of making those decisions and deciding how to prioritize in that time. Yeah, so I think I think you, when you when you become a mother, lots lots of ch lots changes for you um, in terms of your priorities. They yeah. shift, and um, for me as a journalist, it, it just didn't feel like it was a safe kind of job mm. for me anymore. But also entrepreneurship is just in my blood and I really wanted to be my own boss and kind of go off on that journey. And motherhood was just that little bit of nugget of courage that I needed to to make that decision. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's such a, a purposeful moment. I know when I became a mother, I just felt like my purpose finally 100%. fell into place. So you also wrote a book called Being Boss and you have a blog called uh, Mother City Soapbox. Tell us about how you use those two platforms to just share your ideas and the things you're passionate about? So for me, really, the three the three things that I'm very passionate about is, and I dub them in the book, as business babies and boxing. Uh, so I run a mixed martial arts academy with my husband, Pride Fighting Academy, and then I've had a couple of businesses, and obviously there's my kids. So those are really the three very, very important kind of elements of my life that I'm super passionate about, and I blog about those across the, the blogging platforms. Yeah, yeah. So just give us a few tips on how balancing work life i mean i think every mother gets asked this but i think we can never hear enough uh, or have it repeated or learn yeah. quick enough so please just share some of your um top five tips on how to balance work life and make sure that you're actually getting in the time that you need with your kids while still fulfilling your own dreams sure so that's that's a, i feel like that's a loaded question yeah, like i'm gonna absolutely. fail from the start but for for me ultimately it's about balance like you said yeah. and as much as we live a healthy lifestyle we we are big foodies so we indulge mm. but we also try and stay as active mm. as possible um and as a busy mom i think for me it's about you know taking your wins where you can and finding time saving um, elements to your life where possible. So yes. whether it's a product that is an all-in-one product yeah. or a quick healthy meal a solution, I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves that we need to, uh, you know, do these reimagine, you know, reimagine the game for each child yeah. and and family member yeah. uh, from the start. But sometimes there are quicker ways to yeah. do things. So speaking of safe products, you use Dermic Help. Uh, I use it too, and absolutely love it. And what 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 kind of peace of mind do you get knowing that you're using a safe product yeah. for, that's good for the whole family? Well. Firstly, I think, as I touched on before, I think the time-saving factor of it being one product that you can use across, so when you're not shopping for a million different products, that's a big yeah. win. And then just because it's 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 cortisone-free, so that it's completely natural, um, which means that it's safe for the whole family and you don't have to worry about what you're putting on your skin is, is has been an amazing thing for us. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Go, go ahead and be the boss that you are. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Good skincare should be part of your everyday routine, especially when taking care of your loved ones. Demi Help offers your family a cortisone free alternative for itchy irritated skin and scalp including eczema dermic help for itchy irritated skin and scalp conditions including eczema 
After the break, we've got some fashion inspiration from designer Busi Bansi. Uh, plus, we later in the show, we're launching our 2017 Clicks Advent Calendar, where we're giving away 12 incredible prizes over 12 days, and you could be the winner of one of them if you're the fastest caller on 021-430-9881. But wait, don't call me now. The lines will only be open later on in the show and at the exact moment that we say so. So if the lines aren't open right now, you try, you won't get through. That number will only be made open a little bit later on in the show. So keep those phones handy. We'll be right back. Get a taste of the smooth life and win when you buy Tropica. Follow the entry details on your Tropica bottle and stand a chance to win daily airtime prizes, weekly giveaways of Fujifilm Instax cameras, Daniel Klein his and hers watches or travel vouchers. You could also win the grand prize of a trip for two to the Maldives and stay at the luxurious Adarin Resort. Visit tropica.co.za for info and T's and C's. Dermic help for itchy, irritated skin and scalp conditions, including eczema. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC 3 now. An exciting spin on the classic afternoon tea, Sue Ann's Five Roses Earl Grey Cinnamon and Honey Milkshake is the perfect treat for you to enjoy with your loved ones this summer. I absolutely love a cup of Five Roses Earl Grey tea, but with it being summer, who doesn't love a milkshake? So I'm going to show you how to make my Five Roses Earl Grey Cinnamon and Honey Milkshake. We want to create quite a rich tea syrup. So I'm going to add about six bags to my heat resistant glass jug. And add hot water, not completely boiling, and just allow that to steep for a couple of minutes. I really love working with the Five Roses Earl Grey. You get such full flavor in a short amount of time. And that's because they use top tea leaves. And 
because those beautiful bergamot aromas have come out so quickly, it's already time for me to remove the tea bags. And then before this cools too quickly, we want to add our honey and we want to add our cinnamon. I love the addition of this honey. With the tea being as beautifully floral as it is, the honey is just a perfect balance and I like my milkshake sweet. And then a good heap of cinnamon. We'll give that a good stir. We want that to melt in. We want the flavors really to infuse. And then we're going to allow our brew to cool completely. So once our tea has cooled completely, we can move on to the next part of our process. So vanilla pot ice cream, and nothing shouts summer days quite like ice cream does. Straight into our blender. And if you don't have one of these at home, you could actually just pop it into a large bowl and use a stick blender. It'll work equally as well. And then we're gonna add our tea infusion and just pulse. At this stage, we don't want it to be completely smooth yet, but we do want those flavors to all mix. So now that we've pulsed our tea infusion and our ice cream, it's time to add our double cream. And add just a little bit at a time. This is always going to depend on how soft your ice cream is. Just one last blend and this will be almost perfect. And once we've had a look to see if that's all well combined, which I think is just perfect, easy, into a glass. This really is smelling incredible, getting all of those beautiful aromas, the bergamot, the cinnamon. In that'll go. And I really do love how all of those aromatics work so well together. And then to garnish, just a sprinkling of cinnamon drizzle of honey. And some cinnamon bark, the last edition. And there you have it, the perfect summer treat. Five roses, Earl Grey, honey and cinnamon milkshake. Delicious. Now, if you want to get your hands on this mouth-watering five roses, Earl Grey cinnamon and honey milkshake recipe, all you have to do is SMS the keyword five roses to double three six five zero, and you'll receive a link to that recipe. You can also check it out on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs apply. T's and C's can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Because nobody makes better tea than you and five roses. Ladies and gents, it's time for us to do one of our favorite things on a Thursday. It's talking about fashion. fashion. Yes, it's time for our fashion fix on Afternoon Express. And we're joined now by Busisiwe Banchi, uh, who started her own fashion label after she was just fed up with working so hard to make somebody else money. So she quit her job and focused her full-time energy on her own business. And now at the age of 30, she is thriving. You're flourishing, girl. You look Thank amazing. You. Work Thank it. You so much. So, so much. <laughs> now listen, you're the oldest of uh, of your siblings. Whole bunch yes. of boys. Quite a big family. Yes. Lots of pressure for you to be the perfect academic, the perfect child. You just quit your job. Yes. And everyone thought I was crazy actually when I did that. Um, and then I told them, you know what? I'm just I'm just tired because I started, you know, shifting jobs. You know, and I was like, you know, I'm not happy. I just I need a challenge. I need to do something that I love. Sta because I studied this yes. and I was working and I was doing it at the same time. So I said, you know what, let me just do this full time. Let, let this be my full time job. Mm. And I just quit. I'm like, you know what, d d grand, I'm cool. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? What's your philosophy on fashion? What do you want people to feel and experience when they see your clothes? You know, um, when I, number one, when I design, it's always something that is very... Wow, I, I want people to see Ubu Sisiwe Banji in those clothing, mm. you know. Yes. Um, it, it, it might be something that is everyday wear, 
but it's always something that you can wear in two different occasions. You can dress up, you can dress down, you know. So that's what I always strive to do because you don't want me to design something for you. You only wear it yeah. in one, at one occasion yeah. and then it sits in the wardrobe and then what mm. are you going to do with but it? Although, although Black Twitter will destroy you if you wear an outfit twice. I know. Mm. <laughs> I know. I know. But my big question to you is a lot of big designers <laughs> often try and niche themselves and say like I'm the wedding dress designer mm. or I'm the formal wear designer or I'm this designer or that designer. You've kind of tried to do it all. You've yes. done it all from like sort of casual wear all the way through to formal yes. wear all the way through to runway stuff. And what do you believe is the reason behind that? Like, what was that? What was that decision about? The thing is, I do not want to limit myself. Um, I am very broad and I'm very creative. I'm very talented. I do not want to limit my talent into one mm. focus. Does it make business sense? It does. I tried to, like now, there's African print here, but uh, and, and it always comes back to me. So I try to do that, but I always find clients that will want more than yeah. the African print and the only traditional things. Mm. So I always try to modernize somewhere Love or the it. other, yeah. but I'm always, you know, vast. Take inspiration from them all and combine yes, them. Yes, yeah. and then you combine them, you create something beautiful. Yeah. Mm. I just love how resourceful you are. I mean, apparently you make school uniforms at a more affordable price for your community. So people come to you and you make school uniforms yes, for them. That's those, so incredible. Those are things that I do. And I help out as well in terms of, you'll find that in other households, they do not, um, they can't afford school uniforms for their kids. Yes. So I alter like um, the, the, the school shirts, the, the gray pants, you know, just, just to give back to the community as well. Yeah. It's free of charge. I love that. What a yes, really cool idea. Incredible. Cool concept. So the best way to obviously talk about fashion is to show fashion. Yes. Um, unfortunately, I can't fit into any of your dresses. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> as we brought in some incredible models to show us off what you've yes. got for us today. So let's try and take a look at some of them, some of them that we've got in the loft with us today. Let's meet our first model. Talk us through this look. Okay, um, my whole collection is inspired by... Oh, this it's is the, so summery. Yes, mm. it is. And it's summer. It's actually the lotus plant, which is all white, and it's got um, your, your purples. And if you look at that plant, it, it resembles or it defines... Um, everyone goes through obstacles in their lives. It doesn't matter mm. which, which way or the other. So that plant grows underneath the mud through and it, it blossoms mm. out. And the colors, that's what I chose because it's like the business is like a blossom. I'm blossoming and, yeah, and I'm becoming it. this 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 woman, you know, this this woman and I'm I'm loving who I'm becoming. So that's, that's awesome. why that's what I did with the collection. Stunning. It's I wanna stunning. see some menswear. Let's bring on one of the male male models out. I wanna see what this guy's got planning, because this I can certainly fit into. And I saw Pharrell Williams is releasing a line with a very popular brand internationally, and jumpsuits like this have become rumpers. the big and thing. They're called rumpers, darling. Rumpers. Yes. Rumpers. Yes. So tell me about this this jump here. Let me tell you something. At first, my brothers, they were a bit skeptical. They're like, ha, ah, Moosey, this, this, no, only girls wear these yeah. things. I'm like, yeah. dude, this is the in thing. Yeah. If you're not wearing one of these, it's a thing. you need it's to go thing. home. So that's, it's the in thing. And I'm yeah. getting a whole lot of clients because of this look. Wow. A whole so lot cool. of clients. That's it's simple, it's clean. I like the open collar at the top there. It's fitted. It's got all that kind of vibe about it. It's just something slightly and different. And you can play around it as well, you know? Yes. And you've got a different style of this as well. So let's meet the second male model. I want to go and see what he's got planned because he's also got something slightly different. This is a two Piece. Yes, this is a two-piece. Talk me through it. Um, this two-piece is it's inspired by the, the African, you know, um, but then I modernized it as well. Um, and what I love about this two-piece is you can wear the pants with something else, another top. You can wear the top with another pants. Mm. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. So that's what yeah. I love about the pants, and and it gives it you that structure. It's a very as a modern male. cut yes, as well. I really yes. like the cut. Yes. And then our final look from the next lady. Yes, this is ah. my favorite. Um, this is my shop stopper at the fashion show. Yeah, why is it and your favorite? Because it, it it just talks to me. It's it's very, it's flowing, you know, as much as it's modern, but it flows as well. And, and I took the 1980s theme and I modernized it. Yeah. So it, it just blends in very well. It's stunning. Yeah. Really cool lacy bits there, lots of flow in it, which I like. And you've I kind of gone with white seems to be a very uh, key theme in this particular yes. range. How come? The lotus plant. The lotus plant. It's okay. mostly white. Mm -hmm. It's pure. It, it, it actually res resembles pureness. So as my journey for the business, I mean, it's a transition mm -hmm. for me every single time. Absolutely. So this is something else. It's something new. It's something pure. And it's it's from within. Yeah, stunning. So that's why I, well, I use that. Well done, Lucy. Thank you so much. It's amazing. <laughs> Final words to young female designers growing up in, in remote areas like Umtata who really want to <laughs> build into their careers like yours? Let me say something, it is very hard, number one, but don't let the background and that hardship 
put you down. Mm. People are going to talk. People, they talk when you do good and bad. But you know yourself. You know what you want. You know what you want to achieve. And coming from Imtati um, Nambele, it's, it's a small place, but look where I am now. Stunning. I'm in Cape Town and I'm doing what I'm doing. Yes. And I'm still just scraping the surface. It's, I'm still growing at what I'm doing as Especially well. living your best yes. life. Congratulations. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so I hope you've got your phones handy and ready to dial in for the Clicks Advent Calendar. That's coming up after the break. And remember that our lines are not open yet and will only open at the exact moment that we say so. Stay right there. Feel the joy of the Clicks Advent Calendar and call in live to Afternoon Express from 30 November to 20 December to win prizes worth a total of 36,000 Rand. Plus, one lucky viewer can win the grand prize of 50,000 Rand worth of products by replying to the Clicks competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page and telling us what three items are on your wish list from hashtag Clicks Christmas. Win big on Afternoon Express at 4 p.m. on SABC3. Tis the season to be winning with the Clicks Advent Calendar Competition on Afternoon Express. Call in, pick a box, and you could win hampers of fragrances, body care products, cosmetics, and sweet treats, and so much more from hashtag Clicks Christmas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this very momentous occasion. The Clicks Advent Calendar 2017 is kicking off right here, right now. And with over 36,000 rands worth of prizes up for grabs, it's sure to be a very merry festive season. Call in right now. Our number is 021-430-9881. 021-430-9881. The first caller to get through will go straight to our Afternoon Express floor. They will then choose themselves a number with inside these boxes. I will then 
then lift up that box and whatever's inside will be yours to win. Each box is valued at 3,000 rands worth of prizes. I don't know and you don't know what's inside the boxes until we reveal them. So the lines are going absolutely crazy. We're going to take that first caller through to the floor and I'll be announcing what they, what they have won by choosing a number. So hope it's already, hope it's already on your speed dial. 021-430-9881. The lines are open. I see some of you have already tweeted through to the show to ask us to remind you of that number. So get a pen and paper, save it on your speed dial. 021-430-9881. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be opening up one of these boxes in just a second. There's 36,000 rands worth of prizes over the next 12 days. It's going to be absolutely awesome Monday to Thursday, only on Afternoon Express, excluding those Fridays. Once you obviously get through to the to the studio, we'll be you'll be choosing a number for us on the show. Once you've chosen a number, we'll then lift up that box for you, all right? Once you've got inside the box, we'll be able to reveal what's inside and I'll tell you what those are. Do we have a caller? Come on, I want to get through to one of you on the line. 021-430-9881 is that number you need to dial. It's a very Merry Christmas on Afternoon Express. I cannot wait to see who I get to give prizes for. There's numbers 12 over this side. The lid to lift over. There's a prize this side to lift over. There could be something really big. Oh, and FYI, I forgot to mention, by the way, that if you've chosen one of these boxes, big box does not mean big prize. We could have boobied some of these in terms of the size of the prize inside. They've all got exactly the same value. They're all valued at 3,000 Rand, all right? But just remember, obviously, we've got 36,000 Rand's worth of prizes to go um, to give away on the show for this advent calendar, which is absolutely awesome. But the size of the box does not dictate the size of the prize inside that box. Now my suggestion is for you at home, if you want to be the winner on this competition on the show, save our number 021-430-9881 on your smartphone or on your device and then wait for the command on the show. The minute that I say it's time to call into the show, you call in immediately. The lines are going to go crazy, so sometimes you might be disengaged, sometimes you might be engaged. We'd love to obviously make sure that you get that first call through. So if you're the first caller on the line, then what I can do is I'll take you onto the floor, and then from that taking that call, you choose a number, and inside the box will be the prize that you're going to win. It's the best kind of Christmas on Afternoon Express, and I've just been told that we've got a caller on the line. Right, it's officially time. Lindel from Haderfeld, who can it meet you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing very good, thank you. So, Lindel, good. in front of me are yeah. a whole bunch of different boxes with different numbers on them. Each has got a prize underneath it. Do you have a particular number you want us to choose? I'll take number three. You'll take number three, which is yeah. over this side, over here. Number three, inside, underneath this box will be your prize. Remember, big box doesn't mean big prize. Ta-da! Yeah. You've won yourself a whole bunch of beauty kits from Remington! Congratulations! You. So you've got a hair dryer in there, there's a very nice flat iron in there, there's a curler as well as a shaver. So congratulations! Thanks so much! Smooth and silky okay. legs for that uh, smooth and silky legs for that summer season, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, congratulations! You. You're our first winner in the Clicks Advent Calendar Competition. Well done! Thanks. All righty, stay on the line so we can keep your details, all right? That's not all for the rest of you tuning in at home. We're going big this festive season. So head over to the Afternoon Express Facebook page because Clicks is giving you another lucky person the chance to win a grand prize worth, listen to this, 50,000 Rand. Filled with everything you can think of from shell petrol vouchers and fragrances to accessories, cambrook appliances and more to the value of, we repeat, 50,000 Rand. All you have to do is reply to the competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page and list the three items from Clicks that are on your wish list. Don't forget to use the hashtag Clicks Christmas. VAS rates apply, T's and C's apply. So visit afternoonexpress.co.za to find them. Competition will close on the 20th of December, so get going to find out those details. We're taking a short commercial break. When we come back, more from Afternoon Express.
Got my glass on my wrist. Baby, look at what I did. Whipping, whipping up the three. Got my glass on my wrist. Tell you just now. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, the moment we've all been waiting for. Having just released his debut album two days ago, here's Dumi Kladi with his latest single, Dirty Dancer. Got my glass on my wrist, yeah. Baby, look at what I did. Uh. I must be. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. Let's go. Got my glass on my wrist, hey. Baby, look at what I did, hey. Whipping, whipping at the three. Hey, I know this shit ain't for free. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. She swept the circle while she glances. Hey, at the brother with the answers. Got my glass on the wrist. Baby, look at what I did. Whipping, whipping at the three. I know this shit ain't for free. Hey, dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. She swept the circle while she glances. Had the brother with the answers. I think it's time to go to the strip. Hop in that coupe and I came straight to you. Throwing that shot, you know what to do. Spanking that booty, cause I'm in the mood. Bitch in the cot, sending me news. Ooh, girl, I'm just trying to seduce you. You the gum, I'm trying to chew. Ooh, she told me she loved me, my crew. She stuck on my D like it's glue. Ah, ah, eh, eh, give out that. Kick it, am I? I could pull it again. Got me working on a big tip. Bottles ready for them big lips. Girl, inspired all these big hits. I'm gonna make it happen. Hey, got my glass on the wrist. Baby, look at what I did. With the whip and the three. I know this shit ain't for free. Hey, dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. She swept and swept and wants to dance. Hey, that's the f with the answers. Got my glass on the wrist. Baby, look at what I did. Watch me go in while I goes in Watch me jump on that floor and I'm just lying by the whole thing All my brothers popping rose I'm just in the photo Say, that's the girls always slay Watch me eat them like a buffet Watch me sneak them like a ghost Shake that butt and make a pose Then I'm off to the coast Ay, Sweet little girl to the most Ay, I can get them while I'm focused They dirty dancing out the ocean I'm as slick as they come Ay, Slip and slide with the lotion Got my glass on my wrist Baby, look at what I did. Whipping, whipping at three. I know this shit ain't free. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. Swerving, swerving, watching glasses. At the brother with the answers. Got my glass on the wrist. Baby, look at what I did. Whipping, whipping at three. I know this shit ain't free. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. She swerving, swerving, watching glasses. At the brother with the answers. 
dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. She showed me, showed me what she glances. Had the brother with the hands. Hey, 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 uh, whoa, hey. What you know about that? Lada. What you say? Did you see me do my music? Yeah, you're like, ooh. You are energetic. Jamming it. Oh, it was fun, man. Listen, why so much since you are out there, because I know what's so cool about your career is that you were like, yeah, man, I'm in LA. I'm going to make this thing work out here. I'm going to go become a huge star. And then someone said to you, go back home. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were at the music video shoot for the Smiths. And then I was going to eat food. And then Will Smith comes through and I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's a giant. So I'm just like, I don't know what to say. Yeah. And I just said, thank you for having me here. It's a big opportunity. I'm really excited. He's like, you from South Africa, right? I'm like, yeah. Sorry, I'm even pitching looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like, you from South Africa, right? He's like, oh, I, I, I come to South Africa regularly and stuff like that. So, and he stays in Cape Town as well. So he's like, um, but why are you here? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, but everything's been done here. Don't you want to make history in South Africa? I feel like there's not even a choreographer uh, in hip hop that's gone into a certain level. I feel like there's not a choreographer or dancer that's doing music. Do you love music? I'm like, hell yeah, I love music. Mm. And he's like, so why don't you put music and dance together? And I was like, oh man. That's a winning idea, yeah. <laughs> Off I go back home. So maybe yeah. I should do it home. And he's like, do that. I'm telling you, you're going to fill a gap. There's never been an artist in South Africa, in Africa, that's professionally trained and does good music. So I want to uh, uh, fill that right. gap. Yeah. Stunning. Well done. Well it's good done. to have you though. Well Cheers. Well Cheers to the Thank not so, so weekend. Much. One more day yeah, still to yeah, go, you guys. Go. <laughs> and obviously, if you guys missed out on the competition today, do not fret. There's lots mm -hmm. of opportunities for you to win. There's 12 days worth of giving at 3,000 Rand per prize, 36,000 Rand in total. You can win your share of uh, that 36,000 Rand worth of prizes on the Clicks Advent Calendar competition. Tomorrow, well, obviously, uh, what's today? It's today, Thursday. So Monday will be your next chance to be able to win yeah. that. Uh, yeah. So save that number, 021 Keep it on your smartphone. The minute we say the lines are open, you can call us on Monday and you can be winning yourself some more prizes with the Clicks Advent Calendar Giveaway. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. And tomorrow we've got one of South Africa's hottest house producers in the loft, Zex Mantuini, will be here. And he's got hey. a performance lined up for us as well. It's going to be a great Friday edition of Afternoon Express. Uh, so make sure that you guys go into the weekend in style. We've loved having you, dude. Have a good rest Thank of you your, so much, your guys. evening. Thank you so much. One more cheers. Thank you guys for Thank having us. Thank you so you, much South for Africa. joining us at home. Good night and happy eating. Dirty, dirty, dirty dancer. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.